হাঁচাইয়ে হাঁচাইয়ে অন্যকে অন্যকে হাই উড়াই পুরানো দিবি কেন ওটা আরব দর আরব দর থর গতই বল হা Sohora Katun is a midwife in the world's largest refugee camp. Here in southern Bangladesh, health conditions are poor among Rohingya refugees, and childbirth poses severe risks. On any given week, Sohra helps one to four women give birth with her bare hands and a few basic tools. This massive tent city in southern Bangladesh is home to more than 900,000 Rohingya Muslims. More than half are children. At least 100 babies are born each day in inadequate sanitary conditions. Most of them in tents just like this one. Our boys are going to get out of here. We don't know how to get out of here. Sohra helped her sister-in-law give birth two days ago. Two years ago, Sohora's life took a major turn. The Myanmar government and military have persecuted the Rohingya Muslim minority for decades. But in 2017, an escalation in violence forced the mass exodus of 700,000 people. Sohra and her family were among them. Sohra's town was one of many that the military burned down they also killed many civilians, which may amount to crimes against humanity, according to the UN. Back home, Sohora lived in a rural community of a few hundred people. She had land and her own garden. Now she lives in a camp made up of makeshift tents with hardly any space to walk. Her life has changed and the demand for her midwife services multiplied. Sohora is visiting her niece Noor, who is nine months pregnant with her second child. <laughs> Noor hasn't been feeling well, and there's only so much Sohora can do with limited resources. Noor gave birth two weeks later. Her child was stillborn. Hotel 
Last year, nearly 48,000 children were born inside the camp. UNICEF estimates only 18% of those children were born in health centers. Shefar Rahman is a physician at the Doctors Without Borders clinic just outside the camp. The women who come to us, they have this uh, uh, fear that uh, they will not be treated as they expect, because this can be related to their past. In Myanmar, the Rohingya are denied citizenship, proper education and health care. So women here are not used to hospitals and have reason not to trust institutions. When they come to the hospital, the babies are already very sick or the women are already very sick. So their mortality rate is high and the prognosis is not good. Pregnant women and newborns are especially vulnerable. Common ailments include severe dehydration, infections, eclampsia, hypertension, and diabetes. But despite all these challenges, most women choose to give birth at home. Part of being a midwife is being present in the lives of new moms. Her advice on self-care and motherhood is fundamental to them. Providing for children is a real issue. About one in four, between the ages of six months and five years, is malnourished. Many don't have access to clean water, healthy food, education, or basic infrastructure. This refugee camp is transforming from a massive temporary tent city into a giant slum. And that shift comes with consequences. Intimate partner violence and drug use are on the rise as the camp becomes more densely populated. This is increasingly becoming an unsafe environment for young girls and women, many of whom are victims of sexual violence. Sohra and her family survive on roughly $10 per day and the rice and lentils they get from the World Food Program. Sohra never asks for money when she delivers a child. If she gets any payment, it's in the form of a small donation that she uses to put fresh food on the table. Sohora was called when 25-year-old Hafsa Bibi went into labor. Sohora was called when 25-year-old Hafsa Bibi went into labor. 
Half Sabibi just gave birth to her third child. Sohra delivered all three of them. As part of their tradition, the local imam comes to pray for the child. In the second part of our series on refugees, we head to Africa's largest refugee camp. In the dub, it looks like an open prison where you cannot go out of it. Thousands of children have been born in Dadaab since it was built in 1991. And most have never experienced life outside this arid tent city in eastern Kenya. 